welcome viewers in this video we'll see the usage of uh, different sensors in plc i am dr kamsandeep kumar uh, it is a wonderful video uh, in this single plc setup you will be seeing about how we can use the different types of sensors that are available in the market in controlling the various parameters so then you will be having some idea about how to use any one of the sensors that i'll be demonstrating in this video for your project purpose right so this is the uh, schematic uh, arrangement of this particular uh, kit okay so this is the power supply plc this is the power supply for the different types of sensors and this is a chart i will show you the chart in the next slide right so uh, i have used uh, the 5 volt based normally closed type sensors this side this is the line follower sensor 5 volt uh, it operates under 5 volt system right 5 volt uh, uh, dc power supply normally closed type this is a uh, line interrupter emitter detector type of sensor touch sensor smoke sensor uh, these four are coming under the normally closed type and uh, this one again it's a 5 volt operated normally open type of sensor it is a hall effect sensor it senses the uh, magnetic uh, field it is a tilt, tilt sensor this is a reach sensor okay so and this is the the uh, uh, ldr based uh, light sensor and this is the other sensor right so these uh, four are working under the 5 volt system is of uh, normally open type here uh, i used uh, a potential free limit switch this is a wedge sensor again uh, this is a magnetic sensor these three are potent uh, is of are of uh, potential free type you need not uh, it doesn't require any power supply right and this is a proximity sensor it detects the metal especially the iron uh, based uh, objects it will sense okay uh, this is the switch i provided for this uh, uh, this setup okay this and this this setup is for the uh, uh, it's a water tank uh, automatic uh, water tank uh, switching on switch of uh, controller type of uh, setup so then you can control the water tank motor uh, it will be automatic okay so these are the two floats this float assuming this, this float is at the bottom side of the water tank this float is at the upper side of the tank okay we will see this again here for these sensors the 5 volt based uh, normally closed and normally normally closed especially i use this button uh, buzzer okay suppose whenever it senses the buzzer will be on for 3 seconds uh, for 3 seconds okay so you will get a melody sound for this one 5 volt normally open and these three potential free and 20 volt dc supply based uh, sensor for all these i provided this buzzer okay uh, this buzzer is uh, being used at home okay heavy sound will be hearing okay and a small setup uh, uh, these two bulbs for uh, showing you to how to use this plc to either to blink a bulb individually or blinking two bulbs alternatively okay now we'll say about this one now so this first set there are four types of uh, 5 volt based uh, sensors that i have used line follower line interrupt detector type touch sensor and gas sensor okay now we'll see the video now so this is the chart this is for the, the the water tank controller water tank motor controller the moment i press this switch i am i am sub, i am sending the power supply to the these four sensors 5 volt base normally closed uh, type of sensors now let us see about the 
now now when i move the hand closer it senses you'll be hearing the melody now we'll connect this uh, with the uh, line interrupter you see now i'm interrupting with the screwdriver i'm cutting the light path the screwdriver uh, is obstructing the light path you are hearing the melody now the touch sensor now the key sometimes uh, this uh, jazz sensor requires a tuning now when i exhale now this gas and now i am at the exhale when i exhale so i am exhaling the carbon monoxide okay it senses the carbon monoxide okay now i am going to give the power supply for the no type 5 volt normally open type of sensors so this this is a magnet i need magnet okay i'll be taking out the magnet from here right i'll be keeping the magnet in the screwdriver now i'll 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 bring it closer i'm my vc so my vc so close the tilt sensor now now i'm tilting now 0 degree 90 when it, it comes 90 degree i'm getting the signal and the buzzer is on the next one is reach sensor even for the reach sensor i require the magnetic magnet the magnetic magnet it senses the magnet the next is the ldr based uh, light uh, detecting sensor now if i move the my hand closer to this one i'm cutting the light path fit sensors now we'll see about this uh, read uh, the limit switch press the limit switch then signal is coming this metal detector so it's uh, the, the uh, screwdriver tip is uh, made out of a ferrous material so it's, whenever it senses a ferrous material it, it senses so i am using this signal for activating the buzzer Sometimes it is working. This bulb. Sometimes it is not working. Okay, let's see. Yeah. So there is another switch this side. So it blinks for three times. If I press that one and this one, it will be continuous. Alternate to it will work. Now if I press alternate to it will work. it is continuous until i press the reset this is the reset button for all the activities now we'll see about this uh, water tank uh, motor controller so this is a switch for this uh, setup so for uh, for easy viewing i'll be uh, slightly tilting this one for easy visibility so assume that when the tank is empty tank is full those two floats will be on the upper side now so motor is off so it will be consuming the water so that this will be down first then this will be moving down next when in this one the power empty now it is tank is full now empty emptying you are emptying the tank when it empty this uh, lower float will be on the bottom side the motor is on so like that in the first set you saw about 
the 5 volt normally closed type line follower line interrupter touch sensor gas sensor in the next one you saw about 5 volt based normally open uh, 5 to 9 hall effects tilt sensor reach sensor light ldr it is not lds ldr light sensor sound sensor at present is not working okay then limit switch is the reach sensor i didn't show it but anyway it will be working okay magnetic sensor also will work then you saw about uh, the inductive proximity sensor also okay so i think uh, uh, you in this from this video i will gain the confidence of using different types of sensors in plc and uh, you can uh, using this uh, by seeing this video you will gain a confidence in using a particular type of sensor for your project using plc thank you